I had a purpose. I wanted to be one of the best basketball players to ever play. Kobe Bryant. I think that's what the fans came to see, and you talk about elevation. Welcome to the Kobe Show, take two. A quick silver needle, threading the eye of the storm with audacious dunks. Kobe was a cultural force. He has a $71 million contract with the Lakers, plus millions more for advertising endorsements. A five-time champion, a two-time gold medalist. I would watch Magic play, I'd watch Michael play. An Oscar winner. Can I get to that level? I don't know, but let's find out. Let's find out. One half of the greatest duo in NBA history. He possessed a dedication to the game, which bordered on madness. A never quit, all go, win at all cost mindset that became known as the Mamba mentality. Mamba, as he's known as. The best player in the league was Kobe Bryant. The Black Mamba. Bryant has the NBA in his DNA. His father is Joe Jellybean Bryant. This exposure to the pro game helped develop Kobe at an early age. For young Kobe, there was little doubt he'd follow in his father's footsteps. I played other sports. You know, I played baseball. Growing up in Italy, you know, I was forced to play soccer. But basketball really moved me. No other sport touched me like the game of basketball. In Italy, Kobe learned to play fundamental basketball while hanging around his father's team. Uh, you know, we went over there and uh, moved with my father. Started, I started first grade over there, went to Italian school, and, uh, and I think that, that helped us bond together even more because we know how to speak the language when we first went over there, so we didn't have anybody to rely on but ourselves. So now to move back at the age of 13 in, in, in middle school and being completely different. You know, I had a hard time reading, I had a hard time kind of getting adjusted to the culture. The culture shock of moving back to the U.S. was eased by Kobe's time on the court. Kobe Bryant was a different kind of kid with a different kind of upbringing. Even before his NBA career, you had an awareness of him coming into the league. He felt like this kind of like prodigal figure. I feel like we've known him. Probably started hearing about him when he was maybe a junior in high school. But I was reading all the stuff about uh, his high school coach saying that they would, they would get there and he would be shooting baskets in the dark because they hadn't even turned the lights on yet. When did you know no one is going to outwork me? I never looked at it as work. I didn't realize it was work until my first year in the NBA. The Aces of Lower Marion featuring the best player in high school basketball in 1995, Kobe Bryant. What I remember would be him coming in as a kid and tremendous expectations. Talk about academically, he speaks fluent Italian. There he is, Mr. Bright, flying, jamming, high riser. He scored 1,200 on his college boards. Good enough to get in any school. Uncommon amongst uncommon people. The 18-year-old was a star, even landing a date with Brandon. The, uh, um, now, we've heard reports that you guys have or dating or you're uh, is it? we went to the prom together did you hear that bryant added a new dimension to his celebrity by taking tv and recording star brandy to his prom the exception among the exceptional yeah he was named usa today's high school player of the year and a mcdonald's all-american 18 year old kool-aid smile fresh out of high school bald headed kobe as a senior Kobe averaged 30 points and 12 rebounds a game. He has been one of the most followed high school athletes in this state all winter long. He's the best player in the nation for anybody in high school. Kobe Bryant, who is going to go the distance up and slams it home. at home and that got him up out of the seats and some high fives hey kobe bryant kb taking it Rumors to the rack. flying all over 
that you're the one player here who's thinking seriously of making the transition right from the high school ranks to the professional ranks. How serious is that part of your decision? Well, it's definitely a possibility. I think I'd be foolish not to look into that. So mentioned in Sports Illustrated, you said, I'll go to college, but if I don't think I can get better in college, I'm just going to skip it. That's just what I was going to ask him. Maybe he'll surprise me. What's it going to be, college or the NBA? Oh, no, I haven't made up my mind yet. has won. 1996 state champs, and that ends a 53-year drought. For going college, Kobe Bryant opted to make the jump from high school to the NBA. And Kobe Bryant showed his true medal, showed what he could do, and there's a young man that has been so ballyhooed and has packed this arena tonight. We saw a great poignant moment. Father Jellybean Joe Bryant, son Kobe, embracing. Kobe embraced his father after winning a state championship both knowing Kobe was NBA bound. He averaged 31 points a game last year, 12 rebounds. He got six or seven assists a game, <laughs> and his team won the state. That state championship really meant a lot to me. You know, in the previous years, it's all been individual goals. And, uh -huh. you know, coming to my senior year, everybody put so much pressure on myself and my team to win the state championship. And, and after we won, it was just like the biggest relief in the world. Uh, Kobe Bryant have decided to take my talents to... Uh, No, I have decided to skip college and take my talent to the NBA. What people don't know about that is I, I had a bet with my classmates on whether or not I would do that or not. Whether you it, would do what? Like the pause. Well, it's an opportunity of a lifetime. I feel it's time for me to go out and seize it while I'm still young. You have some people who, you know, were just hating on a 17-year-old kid. Is our high school superhero a star or starstruck? We don't want to be. People don't want to babysit an 18 and 19 year old kid. He can go get a shot for himself anytime he wants. In the NBA, uh, even in the NBA, he'll be able to create shots. Yes, he will. Him. Yes, he will. At the age of 18, I knew that I was not going to be stopped. This was my life. With the 13th pick in the 1996 NBA draft, the Charlotte Hornets select Kobe Bryant from Lower Marion High School in Pennsylvania. A coming out party for the high school kid. Jerry West told me today that greatness lies ahead for this young man. Thought he was going to be absolutely fantastic. Kobe Bryant, he was acquired from the Charlotte Hornets in the exchange for Vlade Divac. Everybody remembers that trade. Do you remember what you told me one day in the forum when I first met you? You said you were going to be the... The greatest player of all time? Yes. The city of angels, shimmering with Hollywood allure, pulsed with electric anticipation for the debut of 18-year-old Kobe Bryant. So I married Jerry West, and Jerry West opened up a piece of paper. I haven't seen so many zeros in my life. I signed right away. And the first thing Jerry said to me, he said, look, I'm getting a kid named Kobe Bryant, and you guys are going to win multiple championships. Kobe Bryant, on opening night at 18 years, two months, and eight days old, became the youngest ever to play in the NBA for his childhood favorite team, the Lakers. He's expected to play tonight, and if he does, he'll become the youngest player in NBA history. He'll be 18 years and two months. That's quite young, but he is. Quite a As a rookie, Kobe became the youngest player to ever start an NBA game. A teenager against towering vets. And Kobe Bryant making his first appearance in Madison Square Garden. 18 years of age, and he'll go to the free throw line. Now, let's give you some perspective. This is the third game of the season. A year ago at this time in his third game for Lower Marion High School, Kobe Bryant was leading the Lower Marion Aces to victory over Haverford High School. <laughs> there is his first point in the NBA. The last time we were here, you played, I think, about six minutes. I was looking right. at the box score. It didn't get in. It was garbage time when you got in. Now tonight, you'll be in the real time. Kobe's coach, Del Harris, seemed at odds with Kobe from the beginning. Nice move. Wow. Did you see the move by the kid? That's Kobe. Times I'd sit the bench for seven straight games and then play the last 20 seconds of a game and then look around and see other players around the league that are out there playing and performing. I knew I could compete with them. But I wasn't getting the opportunity to show it. But Kobe finds himself on the bench more than on the court. Very limited playing time, only 10 minutes a game. Harris refused to play the kid. 
Mike Manhunter this time makes a fake, comes down the middle, scores. Believing he wasn't ready for the NBA game. This rookie is something on the Lakers basketball network. You know, it's you know I'm the coach, and uh, so I think we play him quite a lot personally. You know, I, I am the coach. You know, Chick's the broadcaster. Prototype point guard, but man, the Steel Hardaway's line, does he have skills? So I, you know, I just keep working on my game every day, and uh, you know, when my time comes, you get out there and get the big minutes, uh, I make sure I'm ready. As a result, Kobe's rookie season saw him riding the bench more than playing. But even with limited minutes, the world was treated to glimpses of what Kobe would become. Kobe. Kobe plays 22 minutes, scores a career high 21 points. The fans called for more playing time, but Harris was stubborn. Many don't remember he sat on the bench, he didn't play. Right. Coming up next, we'll check in on a Lakers rookie who's made a sudden impact in Los Angeles. Do you miss your friends? Do you miss the things that? normally come after high school or right no, so i really can't miss it because i've never i've never experienced it before lower marion high school it's just amazing <laughs> maybe this isn't right maybe i should have gone to college no by no means Not even close. last year at this time this guy was winning the class 4a state title. at only 18 years old Kobe Bryant's a basketball prodigy, who's already one of the game's most exciting players. He's the youngest player ever to start an NBA game. 18 years and five months against Dallas, and he is a wonder. During this time, Shaq treated Bryant like a little brother, which Kobe didn't want. He wasn't looking to be anyone's little brother. Showbo played a good game for his first game. I really look forward to going out. I have your autograph, Showbo, right? <laughs> I've been watching you a long time, man. This would be a source of friction in the years ahead. Experience is going to be the best teacher for him. As long as I'm around him, he'll be okay. Kobe, Kobe. That got the fans out of their seats. game standing ovation from some of the fans that are left here and that's for Kobe. Kobe's played he played really well Chad. He earned a lot more minutes than he's been getting. The youngest player in the competition from the Los Angeles Lakers, Kobe Bryant. He's, he's unstoppable and uh, I'll label him the next Michael Jordan. Following in the footsteps of MJ, Kobe competed in the slam dunk contest. Kobe Bryant, Michael Finley, and Carr. And the way he worked at his skill level to become one of the most amazing scorers, one of the most amazing offensive players that we've ever seen. As a rookie, Kobe Bryant had won the dunk contest. Oh, oh between the legs, Kobe yes. Bryant. Look at him, yes. check him out, check him out. <laughs> check him out. Look at him. <laughs> so our winner is Kobe Bryant. As the youngest slam dunk champion ever, Kobe's distinguished himself among this year's talented rookie class. In the playoffs, Kobe tasted failure early, having an all-time horrible finish to Game 5. Kobe Bryant, the young rookie straight from high school. Eight seconds left. Bryant, guard right above Russell. Five seconds left. Four. Bryant drives. Pull up. Because that air ball game where Kobe shot those air balls against Utah. Right, 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 that actual fake stock away. Cross court left. Open Kobe drives to three. Another air ball. Kobe should not have been in the game. Sure did. Air ball. Air ball. The odd rookie. Three times. He shot air balls. Real pressure. Dell Harris put him in the game specifically to teach him a lesson because he got tired of Kobe. Front court. Jazz Ruby. Stockton. All over. Eight seconds. Seven seconds. 
Here's a three-pointer, air ball to the left. That's Kobe Bryant, another air ball. Four seconds left. It's Doctor, it's over, it's over. I do believe. You know, I, I really thought that was a defining moment of his career. You know why? If somebody would have shot an air ball on our team, and had shot a second one, they were going to shoot a third one. He was fearless. I think that's one of the things that spurred him to greatness. He wasn't going to allow himself to fail. Embarrassing because you shot five air balls, get over yourself, right? And then after that, it's okay, well, why did those air balls happen? Got it. High school, year before, we played 35 games, max, right? Week in between, spaced out plenty of time to rest. In the NBA, it's back to back to back to back to back to back to back. I didn't have the legs. How old are we now? 18. 18. So you are the second youngest player in the NBA? Yep. yep. So I'm one of the old guys in the league. Now, the second year sensation of the Los Angeles Lakers is holding court. The source of Kobe's true greatness was his willingness to work to improve himself. You know, basketball for me was the most important thing. Hours alone in the gym, honing his craft. Brian. He embraced the role of student. Everything was done to try to learn how to become a better basketball player. Everything. We are one on one with Kobe Bryant. Kobe, unbelievable game last night against the Knicks. Kobe Bryant in NBA courtside. In his second season, Kobe debuted the Fro. This became known as the Froby era. The Froby era marked key transition years for Kobe. I could see things a lot more than I could last year. That's because you worked so hard in the summer? I definitely did. Um, I was a student of the game. I tried to understand things that I wasn't doing very well last season uh, and try to add them into my game. So that's a shot blocked by Kobe Bryant. The Lakers win. Well, I got to tell you, you have that point of view, then literally the world becomes your library to help you to become better at your craft. And now the steal by Kobe. Foot race with Derek Strong. Because what I found in the NBA is a lot of guys played for financial stability. When they came to the NBA, they got that financial stability. So therefore, the passion and the work ethic and the obsession, the obsessiveness was gone. You shot down! Did you see that running left-handed? During this time, Kobe transformed from an exciting fan favorite into the bona fide superstar we all know and love. You have an unusual name, Kobe. And uh, I know what it means, but maybe a lot of people don't. Yeah, it means tender meat. Tender meat. Tender young. Does it mean, <laughs> Does it mean tender young meat? Hmm. <laughs> the Froby era is one of my personal favorite times in the NBA. The fans know Kobe's got game, and then some. Show-stopping style, skill beyond his years. Now he and the Lakers are both playing their best basketball of the season. Front to Kobe, dribble down the middle, in the air, all the way. Nice play. And then you had the players that had that passion. Kobe Bryant knocks in his third basket in three shots. But weren't willing to commit their entire lives to doing that, right? It's a choice. Kobe was a learner, an absorber of basketball knowledge. And of course, I was explaining to him, this is the way Michael Cooper used to play defense uh, in, in the 80s, uh, in trailing his man and, and not letting the man dictate to him. And Michael was one of the very best. Bryant's minutes are up, his scoring is up, and he's upgraded his defense. Watch your way, Michael. Now the 19-year-old veteran is making the types of impression that Van Gogh and Monet would be proud of. He's the league's leading scorer off the bench and much more. One inch taller thanks to mom nature and 10 pounds thicker after frequent trips to the weight room in the offseason. Always adding new pieces to his game. Never satisfied. 
think that's what the fans came to see. And you talk about elevation. You're the youngest player ever to play in an NBA game, right? right. You played your first NBA game when you were 18? 18 years old. Uh, you see similarities in his game as well as my game, and I think if he maintains a certain you know, uh, mental approach, he can become a great professional basketball player. Welcome to Chicago, and there is a buzz at the United Center here that you only get for the very special game. With Shaq sidelined, Kobe would square off with Michael Jordan. Thanks, Ahmad. Well, there's a player in the game today that's been compared uh, more than anybody else to Michael Jordan, and that's Kobe Bryant of the Lakers. It's like, what happened is when I came in the league and I wanted to take more. Kobe Bryant shooting and hitting with Michael Jordan in his face. I called Kobe and he was like, so what was it like what, going against Jordan? I was like, man, this is that black cat. We tried this, we tried that. He's like, you know what? Well, you better get ready for the caramel cat. We got a little show going on here between number 23 and number 8. Before the Black Mamba, before the Black Mamba, his nickname was the Caramel Cat. <laughs> we pull away by Kobe Bryant. That's the future, and even Michael Jordan will tell you that Kobe Bryant, the future of the NBA, you're looking at the present and the future. Right, I mean, all I heard was, you know, we called him Black Panther, they called him Black Jesus, and all this stuff. I said, I want to see what this is about. A little advice from the master. Right? But what happened is that we wound up, he wound up becoming a big brother. The kid, he's learned a lot in, in the short amount of time he's been in the league, and believe me, he's going to continue to learn. He was the closest thing to Michael Jordan that we saw. I tell you, that was impressive. That was impressive. <laughs> He's impressive. <laughs> you know Michael Jordan is impressive. In his that. second season, the hard work was rewarded. Kobe Bryant, just 19 years old, he's been voted by the fans to start in next Sunday's All-Star Game, making him the youngest player in NBA All-Star history. He's only the third non-starter to start an All-Star Game. And the question, does he belong, pops up. There's not a thank yous in the world. You know? It's a great compliment. It's a great honor. Kobe was selected to start in the All-Star Game. He just had all the tools. <laughs> All the necessary fundamentals. It's an incredible feeling. I'm glad it's finally arrived. How are you nervous? I'm a little nervous. But... Mr. Bryant, I wonder if you'd mind signing an autograph for me. He made sure to leave the fans with a lasting impression. Going on the break, pushing it. Bryant to another young one. Garnett. All good. That's the kind of play that is serving Kobe Bryant and his Los Angeles Lakers very well. That's fancy. It felt good. I thought I was going to be nervous. I thought you know, I was going to be all shaky. Uh, but you know, the ball went up. We up and down the court a few times. I felt the fine. people who say that you are the heir to Michael Jordan and that they're looking at you in that way, how do you feel about that? That's, that's one of the best compliments I think I could ever receive. He thought that he was going to be greater than MJ one day. When you talk about the bridging of the two generations between Michael Jordan and then to Kobe Bryant. The players today talk about Kobe Bryant being their Michael Jordan. He, not LeBron, is the closest player to stylistically Michael Jordan. Oh, look out! Ride him, Cowboy! Kobe Bryant! Odom gets it ahead and Bryant by himself. Because when I retire, I didn't want to have to say, I wish I would have done more. You have those extreme winners that literally, to the exclusion of everything else, including their family, including, you know, other people, focused on just one thing. Anyway. Yeah, nobody works harder. Nobody. That's why they're, and they, they love to win in, the, in an almost psychotic way. Despite friction between Kobe and Shaq, the pair had remarkable chemistry. He is without question one of the league's most talented players, but he has been criticized for poor shot selection and not playing a team game. Bryant Dickerson, the screen by O'Neal and the pass to Shaq. Back to the Kobe. When Kurt takes you out, and four quick shots with plenty of time left on the clock. What do you say? What does he say? And how do you handle that when you come back in? I'm mad. <laughs> Ryan gets the screen by Shaq. Ryan down the middle. Kobe had become one of the league's best scorers. Finger rolls it up and in. Perfect timing by Van Exel. go the other way. Kobe Brown. Reverse slam dunk. Now we're getting into it. What a play. Well, we want to know who the go-to guy is down the stretch. The, you young, don't have to the young man is getting it done. Put it up basket, counts, fouls. What a play. Another sensational drive by the 20-year-old. Week after week, 20-year-old Kobe 
was turning in one jaw-dropping performance after another. Bryant drives by Houston. Changes the shot as he's confronted by Ewing. Bryant was becoming more of a focal point of the offense. With youth on his side, you'd have to say Kobe Bryant on that top 40 chart is number 11 with a full. We all know he wanted to be bigger than life. And at that time, that person bigger than life, and still is, is Michael Jordan. Bryant spinning. Scandal free and cozy in the limelight, Kobe Bryant is a marketer's dream. He seems to have as many endorsements as he has moves on the court. Believe me, Kobe, Kobe was truly a gifted and intelligent student of the game. I remember him saying, these guys are playing checkers, and I'm out here playing chess. And I would say, I guess so, Kobe, I don't know how to play chess. <laughs> Who's the best player you ever played with? Kobe. Number eight? Definitely Kobe. Kobe Bryant gets past Walt Williams. Walt Williams has no chance playing Bryant off the dribble. The guys were complaining. Say, Shaq, Kobe's not passing the ball. I said, I'll talk to him. Kobe Bryant. <laughs> I said, Kobe, there's no I in team. And Kobe said, I know, but there's an in me in that So I went back and told Rick and, uh, and Big Shot Bob, I said, just get the rebound. He's not passing. Kobe Bryant has really brought his game to the... He got it easy in second gear. I went to Goat Mountain, and I talked to Magic, Michael, Bird. Kobe, it's showtime. So I went to them and started understanding the ins and outs of the game. Michael in particular my big brother. He's been my big brother since I first came in the league. As the game ends on Derek Fisher's layup. The Lakers fell flat in the playoffs again. To step back and look at my game and figure out how to edit my game so that it's uh, so that I simplify. And I felt like at the time I, I could do so much that I was doing too much. That offseason, the team made a change at head coach. This is a team that uh, is talented, it's young, it's on the verge. I just had a chance to meet Kobe Bryant. He's dedicated, he's competitive. He reminds me a lot of Michael Jordan, and uh, there's not too many players that have ever done that in this game. Phil Jackson's triangle offense brought cohesion and turned the Lakers into the best team in the NBA. With Kobe entering his prime and Shaq as dominant as ever, the Lakers were primed for greatness. Well, he Kobe had the ability to, to trigger all of those emotions in me. Like, I, I loathed him, I respected him, I loved him, I hated him. You know, like, using his body. That kind of thing is just such a rare quality in any kind of public figure. Either Kobe comes first with the jab, and then you follow with me, the knockout. Either Kobe, he's going to make a wrap around Shaq. The dynamic duo of Shaq and Kobe was dubbed the combo. Kobe, can you believe it? You're an old Griffin veteran of four years now. How this young man has grown. Kobe. But for every excited fan eager to watch the kid, there was a skeptic. Slam dunking Kobe. He turned around, he looked at me, and he said, you'll see. You'll see when I put five banners up on that wall. But he gets help every night, especially from Kobe Bryant. Well, there's no question he gets help. Kobe Bryant's coming into his own. Shaq and Kobe were a basketball ballet of grace and brute force. Well, Kobe just different, works hard, you know, getting, getting to the gym at about five, working on his jab steps, head fakes, making sure everything's perfect. And uh, that, that's Kobe. When Kobe Bryant was the kind of player that people felt passionate about. Some people loved him, some people hated him. Kobe got it and scored. So Kobe, of course, grew up right in front of our eyes. That's a great move right there. And when people grow up in front of our eyes, we see all of them. Well, you see the numbers and you see right down there, actually, Kobe and Shaq have averaged more this year than ever Jordan and Pippen did. 
In the first round of the playoffs, the Lakers' regular season confidence carried over. But against the backdrop of their past failures, they were all too aware of the hazards of postseason play. In the playoffs, the combo showed they were ready to take the next step. They throttled the Kings in round one. Away from Stockovich by Rice, into Bryant's hands. What can you say? He has 19. And Kobe connects. This year, Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe have established themselves as dominant on both ends of the floor. In round two, Kobe would be called upon in the clutch. The last shot, Suns by one. They're going to take it off the dribble. This is it now. Game's on the line. You're down one. And Kobe Bryant at the point. Kobe in his career had 40 game-winning minutes. Kobe Bryant pulls up. With 2.6 to go, giving the Lakers the lead. What a heroic basket by Kobe Bryant. And he was defense. As good as you can be defense. Kobe Bryant with the winning basket with 2.6 seconds remaining. Where do you expect this team to be in the postseason? Can we go into the finals? series is tied at three games apiece and this afternoon it's put up or shut up yet they have lost three times this year once in the regular season and twice in this series to the trailblazers on their home floor in game seven of the conference finals the lakers trailed by 15 points in the fourth well, the first thing that the Lakers have to realize is they've got 12 minutes to play and it's only a 13-point game. Not anymore. <laughs> Steve Smith hits on the run and it's 15. I don't think you go to the half to Shaq. there by Shaq. I should have appreciated it more. And Shaq is of the mindset, I should have appreciated you more too. That slammed down emphatically. To the, lane. the fight for everything here. The assertiveness, the offense. Now Kobe gives him the two-point lead. But I think now both of them look back fondly and miss a little bit of what they did have. Portland has three timeouts left. The Lakers have two. Bryant. to Shaquille O'Neal makes it a six-point difference with 41 and 3 tenths seconds left. Together, they'd brought the Lakers back to the finals. Tonight, game one, the Indiana Pacers versus the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, Kobe has been sensational throughout the playoffs, but more importantly, first team all defense. Now, he's going to be playing four different Pacers, but everybody's going to be waiting for that glamour matchup. Kobe versus Reggie. Here is Kobe. He is without question one of the 10 best players in the history of the league. Kobe Bryant cuts it to three. Doesn't take him long to get into the lane and hangs in the air. They really appreciated that competitive fire. And it was that ability to sort of let it rip. Kobe Bryant. Throws it over Jalen Rose. not care if anybody said you're too selfish you took too many shots like he's like well i think i'm the best option in game four shaq fouled out late in a one-point game that's a loose ball foul on shaq that'll be number six what a big play that's it you fouled out i'm thinking you, know, you already had 50 and 25 great we're gonna tie this series up because back then it was two three two we can tie it up and then win game three. All we got to do come back here is win one. Kobe Bryant would be called upon to save the day. Three years later in the NBA Finals, that same move that I was showing them in my step back, 
He hit after Shaq fouled out. Indiana, where I messed up and got in foul trouble. And on the bench, he said, don't worry about it, I got it. Hits the jumper and then sort of gives it, you know, take your time, everything's cool. I'm not going to let us lose this game. Shaq fouls out with like three minutes left. And the game is tight, and Kobe, at 21 years old, takes over. As he's running down the court, passing on the button, says, you never should have showed me that step <laughs> back. Shot clock at 12. So you don't want to foul now because you got one to give. They won't shoot free throws. The putback would seal the victory. Bryant saw a tough shot, and who is there? Kobe Bryant. How good is this kid? And just like that, Kobe and Shaq were champions. Now, you, for your 21 years, you said you've always dreamed of winning a championship. Is it what you dreamed of? Oh, it's everything and more. I mean, you have the, the Lakers colors falling from the ceiling, the fans going crazy. And I look back at Shaq and Kobe, and they were co-stars who, in the end, they needed each other, Stephen A. Finally got one. This is it, fellas. You work all year long for it, man. Shaq the man, the most dominant player in the world. Championship, stars. Love it. It's beautiful. Ma, 2G, baby, you love it. Well, frankly, I can't remember the last time we had this much commotion in downtown Los Angeles. LA celebrated their title in the traditional way. Apparently, vandals have. Lit a police car on fire. You can see it in the center of the screen there. You see people running. The police coming in now to clear out and disperse the crowd. Because I had you, I was able to just chill out in the sun. Do what yeah, I do. see, that's what, yeah. that's what pissed me off. <laughs> that, that was it right Thank there. You, that, that was... <laughs> Listen, I got beat up. I got hack and shack. I ain't doing no work. I'm going home. I'm swimming. <laughs> Me and Uncle Jerome, we sipping pina coladas, we eating burgers. <laughs> My ass is in the gym 10 hours a day. The next season is where the Shaq and Kobe feud really took off. I wish he was in the gym. I would have had 12 rings. In the offseason, instead of basically getting surgery, Shaq opted to say basically, I got hurt on company time, right, right. so I'm going to rehab on company time. <laughs> right. You didn't like that. No, I answered too well. Because, you know, I'm out there <laughs> killing myself in the summertime trying to get ready, you know, and then you can't, don't do that. And then come back and complain about not getting the ball. When everything went through me, the outcome was good. The big dog and me in the house won't get guarded. Shaq comes in, he's out of shape. That there have been times, or there were times in the past, when Kobe Bryant would be on the court working his tail off for hours upon hours at a time, improving upon his game, and then we'll go in the training room and see Shaq swallowing about three Big Macs. With Shaq beginning the season out of shape, Kobe took center stage in the Lakers' offense. With the one-hander, how about a slingshot from the holster? Kobe was simply too good to play second fiddle. Right, this 22-year-old has been dazzling all year long. So much athletic ability is oozing out of him. Kobe wasn't particularly fond of being Shaq's teammate. Thanks, Captain Obvious. People wanted me to just kind of level off my play, just do the same thing I did last year. And I'm not going to do that. You know, I work too hard. And I improve as a basketball player every day. And I want to show that I improve. He'd mm -hmm. be there an hour, two hours before everybody. That he would show up at these practices and he was fully sweated out. Like he'd just done three hours of work an hour yep. before anybody did anything. And then you watch Shaq and he's the opposite. And yet you guys are aligned anyway. And like just with a little distance, it makes more sense to me why you guys clash. Such a shame, you know, the two great players can't get along. Shaq calling to the ball. Instead, it's Kobe. That's one of the reasons why Shaq, as he would say, tried to slap him. That day was a big turning point when he saw me challenge him on that. He was like, this kid's crazy. All right, I can win with that. Did he connect on the punch he threw? 
No. <laughs> no, I was swift on the, on the duck. <laughs> he has uh, kept the Lakers afloat here uh, all night long. It's because he was so cocky about what his intentions were. Uh, he was unapologetic about it. Ten seconds to play in overtime. Here's Bryant, defended by Harris. O'Neal sets the screen. Spinning. Media would take it and run with it and all sorts of stuff. And I'm like, well, bruh, if you were in shape. It runs down and a foul with 4.8 left. By the time I run down on a fast break and run back, and then run down, you're still coming down the first time, bro. Kobe's ascent couldn't be stopped. Kobe Bryant up to 29.8 this season, second in the NBA. It wasn't long before Shaq returned to form. And with Phil and his genius, his responsibility was to get the team to a place to win titles. It wasn't to appease one player, it was to get the collective whole to win a championship. So he would do whatever it took to make sure that that happened. Mm -hmm. He would see the friction between myself and Shaquille and say, okay, how can I use that? Kobe Bryant with a beautiful spin. The Lakers are the second highest scoring team in the NBA. And third in the league in field goal percentage, they are an offensive machine. I bought into the deeper connection that exists within the game. And now, ladies and gentlemen, live from the beautiful Staples Center, Los Angeles, California. I had to show this dunk from Vince Carter during this matchup. Save. And the Puts it down and took it right out of his hands. Collected on that. He wanted it. It was Kobe. Showtime, Bryant time. Shaq gets it up to Bryant. Bryant has 45. O'Neal has 25. That's 70 of the 99 points by the Lakers. Well, two players can beat you if one of them gets 45 points. Yeah. The Lakers leaned on their stars. And the combo delivered. Downtown LA as we get ready for game one of the best of five Western Conference Series between the Portland Trailblazers and the Los Angeles Lakers. As he put it in the heat of the battle, off the steal. The Lakers went into the playoffs on a winning streak. And Fisher on has a three on one. Bryant. Oh, when the Lakers were going for their second straight title. In round two, they faced the Kings. And then from that moment on, I knew we spoke the same language. Kobe Bryant off the steal with a three on two and puts it away. It doesn't matter if we had disagreements with any other, our drive to win, like we have to win. There's just no other option. force him to pass it. He comes all the way from the half court, breaks your defense. He down. dropped 48 points and secured the sweep. Kobe taking it to the rim. Oh, what a spectacular shot by Kobe Bryant. The smiles on the face of the teammates as Kobe makes that shot early in the year. I'm not so sure we should have seen those smiles or would have seen those smiles. They now are loving the way Kobe is playing. Kobe Bryant, 48 points. Los Angeles Lakers who now make it 15 straight wins. They had won 15 games in a row. Bryant. In the Western Conference Finals. It counts. And the foul. Kobe took to the air and dropped 45 in game one. As I said earlier, our names will always be linked. You know, we talk about who's this and who's that, but I truly believe that we will be the most dominant, big, little, one-two punch ever. Uh, in my 20 years, he was probably the best offensive player or best player I've, I've seen and faced. Run the table for the first three rounds of the playoffs. 19 straight wins. 11-0 in the postseason. Their third consecutive swing. In the finals for a second straight year, the Lakers' title felt inevitable. Crowd, better than 20,000 on hand. The 76ers starting lineup just introduced 
So the crowd. There's, there's people like that, man, and you can hate on them. You don't want to note this crazy Kobe Bryant motherfucker getting up at four in the morning, you know, doing deadlifts like shit. I want to sleep. I'm gonna rip your throat out with my scoring. Low post, fadeaway, footwork, assassin. Oh my god! Many people confuse the fact that he wants to beat your scoring. Kobe has the same mindset and mentality that MJ had. His preparation to win is as good as anybody's ever. A lot of talking going on there right now. I think you're going to see the referee step in and separate the two players. Kobe will do whatever you ask him to do to win, whether it be play defense. He just wants to win. I'm not denying the genius of Michael Jordan. I'm saying Kobe Bean Bryant, in my estimation, Kobe Bryant was the, was the greatest basketball player. Wow. Kobe Bryant. Mark, what? What? Right. The low and peasy afro Kobe, then we had Shaq and Kobe, I'll say it again, Shaq and Kobe. Iverson and the 76ers were hopelessly outmatched. This man played with a broken finger and won a championship. Had to rotate the ball off of the broken finger. The celebration has begun on the Laker bench. And the Los Angeles Lakers will make it a second straight NBA crowd who finish with a 15-1 run. It's an actual discussion you can have now. Well, I said it a year and a half ago. No way in the world would I ever put anybody in the conversation with Michael Jordan. But Kobe Bryant is there. The Lakers lost only one game the entire playoffs. Back-to-back -back champions. And the beautiful thing is that they're just getting started. We're going to get another one next year again. Back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back. That's how you have to be if you want to be a winner. There's just no way around it. Yep. Swish, holla, that's why I get the money. Holla, look at my mansion. The Lakers were the kings of the sports world. There was a way to handle Shaquille O'Neal and extend the winning with Shaquille O'Neal. I don't think that was handled well. Interesting and entertaining. People wondered if the egos of Shaq and Kobe would derail a potential historic run of greatness. He has a $71 million contract with the Lakers, plus millions more for advertising endorsements. We're all waking up every day trying to be, you know, above average or something. Oh, Kobe Bryant! And this guy was waking up every day wanting to be the greatest basketball player to ever touch the earth. Complicated shots, shooting over taller opponents, footwork with extraordinary grace, the Elan Vital of the athletic balladry. Oh. 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 The quest to become a dynasty and go back to back to back had begun. Kobe, one of the best creators in the game. Kobe had become a different kind of beast. He has one goal in mind, and that's to be the best. And he will do whatever it takes. That's just so much speed. He decides, well, what am I going to do on this dunk? Unstoppable. Showtime slam dunk. With Kobe no weaknesses in his game. Shaq. Shaq left side to Ori looking for Kobe to get some space against George Lynch. Two seconds. One second. Kobe. Kobe for the win. The dagger! <laughs> the dagger! Is the rest of the league lying down saying, okay, the Lakers, you have it? Because everybody out here says the Lakers are by far the best team. Nobody can beat them. The Delta Center in Salt Lake City, Utah. He made a nice play. The rebound is off. It's not free. It's picked up by Kobe for the slam.
Did I work hard in practice? No, never. And let me tell you why. The guy that, that, that I'm playing against, they're under me. So to try to show that they're worthy of being an NBA player, they would touch me up. So it's my philosophy, I'm not going to get touched up twice. I'm not going to get beat up in practice. And I'm not going to get beat up in the game. Shaq inside once again. Slam dunk Shaquille O'Neal. The Lakers won 16 of their first 17 games. A lot of people say you should work harder. Tinsley splits the defense. But then I, I, I asked them, how do you know? What do you know? I think there has been nobody better than Kobe Bryant. I think with the kind of will to win. He's tied at 103. Now you normally wouldn't be concerned about, but he's hit two in a row, so you better be cognizant of where that veteran is. In Kobe's hands, eight to go. Bryant's had an unbelievable quarter. In the clutch, he had developed the same type of reputation MJ had. He spins, he shoots. Over the summer, Kobe Bryant bulked up, added 15 pounds of muscle to his frame, but I think the growth that the Lakers were really concerned about was the growth going on inside of his head, in his mind, and that's been the key for Kobe and the Lakers. He was the most dominating offensive force. Kobe Bryant with 42. Remember that streak of seven straight 40-point games, Kobe. A juggernaut with unstoppable momentum. Players nowadays don't dominate the boxes and elbows. You and MJ are two of the best at doing that. We mentioned he gained 15 pounds of muscle, right? Kobe is the second greatest shooting guard of all time. Get the ball to number eight. You never know what's going to happen. In the moment of greatest adversity, he was a killer. Showtime was back and better than ever. Oh, what did I just see? When and why did you come to the revelation that this is the greatest player on the planet, Kobe Bryant? Here we go. The ball comes in. Kobe's got it. Above the three-point line, taking a little bit of time. Despite clashing off the court, on the court, Kobe and Shaq were thriving. Too much is always going to be Kobe Bryant's gift and his curse. There were times it drove both his friends and his teammates away. Team Donnell, or Fisher, next rotation of Bryant, buckle up! Kobe Bryant just sucked the cavity out of the target! A lot of people thought we had problems. We never really had problems at all. I'm the big brother, he's the little brother. I want him to be the best player in the world. You can have a combative relationship, win championships, and then sit back 50 years from, from then as friends. It fell to the world as if the Lakers were set to reign for a decade. For the Lakers, this was their third consecutive finals appearance. Rolling over all who dared stand in their way. Kobe starts on the defensive end. If Michael Jordan is the original, Kobe Bryant is the remix, baby. The Los Angeles Lakers have made a three. They've completed the three-peat and cemented themselves as a dynasty. They're scary. They wrap it up in the four-game sweep by beating the Nets, 113. And by 23, he had helped lead the Lakers to three straight championships. Man, I knew it was bad when Kobe got in trouble. I said, this is a wrap for us. He's one of the most wholesome dudes we had. Lakers all-star Kobe Bryant arrested by Eagle County, Colorado sheriffs. Bryant complied with an arrest warrant, turned himself in Friday, July 4th, and will have to answer charges of felony sexual assault. You know, to, try, to have to go through something like that, you know, with uh, not only individually, but, you know, as a family. And then... 
you know, for the organization, the ladies' organization, my teammates. I'm innocent. her to do anything against her will. I'm innocent. Bryant fell back to earth and the landing has jolted a nation. What if we brought together four players who averaged 20 points per game the season before and put them on the same team? With so much turmoil off the court, Bryant seemed to find peace on the court. You talked about Shaquille O'Neal, where you basically said that he was fat and out of shape. I knew, I knew the fire that I lit. I knew what I said, and he knew what he said. Kobe himself was required to constantly fly in and out of Colorado, so this definitely affected Kobe's performance on certain nights. I felt like there's so many things coming at once, and it was just becoming very, very confusing. I had to organize things. So I created the Black Mamba. Transforming into the Black Mamba. Mamba, as he's known as, the killer black snake. Kobe kept it together. Thank God he he held his game together because if he was cracking under pressure and getting like six points a game, the whole LA would have been like, that is guilty. I may have ruined my life, I may have, I may have never come back from this, but the one thing I can control right now is what I do on the basketball court. Wild three, hit it! The public is still giving Kobe the benefit of the doubt. He's one of the few black celebrities that get that. Not because he's a celebrity, more because, you know, the girl showed up with eight different samples to the investigation. You can't do that. The crowd's yelling stuff at you, you heard it, and you almost had to create this alternative character. Kobe has to deal with these issues. The black mama steps on court and does what he does. It's the black mama. Black Mamba follows a trail of aerial clues. Potent venom floods the system, killing it swiftly. Another three is good. One away from tying the franchise record. Well, Dennis Scott, if you're watching somewhere, your, your record is in big time jeopardy. He's got ten. <laughs> this dude came out and was kicking our but establishing a new NBA record. This was all happening with Kobe going back and forth to court in Colorado between games. And my favorite moment that we ever had was on the bus leaving the arena, leaving Arco Arena. When we got there, people were, were mooning us. Uh-huh. So after the game, all of us put our ass on the window. <laughs> <laughs> we mooned them. <laughs> we got to see a lot of different shades of the moon. That yes, they did. <laughs> yes, they did. All of us lined up, both sides of the bus. Michael Jordan to us is the GOAT. To Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant's the GOAT. Good ball, good guarded by Yao. Yao had a piece of his jersey. Here comes Kobe around the corner. Long jump shot, good by Kobe. Oh, right over goodness. Yao. Oh, my goodness. Did he even uh, see the basket? Yeah, I'll step down. And I think after the whole Colorado incident, too, it, got, it chiseled him even more. That was unbelievable! The dysfunction between Shaq and Kobe was reaching a break. Yeah, but a lot of that stuff was created by me. I used to push his buttons, he used to push my buttons, and he made us perform at high levels. A lot of times as a coach, you see guys want to have a space that they kind of define as this is my area. You know, Kobe's saying, don't don't talk about my game, don't, I won't talk about yours. Now to four, here's four. The Lakers return to the finals seeking their historic fourth title in a row. My fourth time in the finals, thanks to that man right over there. Most people think they will win. They are heavily favored. A lot of people think they will sweep. Gary Payton, 
who came from Seattle and then Milwaukee last year. Big pay cut to win a championship. Carl Malone to win a championship. Kobe now tries to win his fourth championship, as does Shaquille O'Neal. On the biggest stage, the Lakers fell apart. We also thought the Pistons had no chance. No chance whatsoever. Basketball's culture is about the young prodigy. And Kobe was, for about a 10-year window, the prodigy. They start with Shaq. He gives it to Walton. Here comes Kobe. Less than five from way outside. Got it! Oh, man! With 2.1. Kobe Bryant has it. Whatever that it is, Al, he has it. He has the ability to make big shots. You guys were such huge personalities, and maybe that could be why. It wasn't just that they beat the Lakers, it was how they beat the Lakers. Were you surprised at how easy it was? Yeah, I, I didn't think they could dominate a team that won three rings to the extent that they would completely demoralize them and really take their will to play, which is exactly what they did. How did they take the Lakers' heart? The 2004 Lakers were one of the most hyped up yet disappointing teams of all time. That the Detroit Pistons have just shot the Los Angeles Lakers. 187 to win the NBA title. And for the Lakers, it truly will be the end of a particular era. They've had the three championships. They brought in the other guys. We talked about how much They'll revamp. We won three out of four. Don't get no better than that. Doesn't matter how many fights we had, how many scuffles we the had. The writing was on the wall for everyone to see. Do you wish you and Kobe would have handled y'all relationship differently? And if so, how many championships do you think y'all could have won? Usually when uh, something happens, like the firing of a coach, I would know about it. But I wake up and I turn on ESPN like I always do. Da -na -na, da -na -na. Phil Jackson fired his leg of coach. When do you expect this soap opera to end that is going on between you and Kobe and Phil writing a book and all of this stuff? Kobe and Shaq have gotten a divorce. What caused the divorce? He did an interview just the other day where he was talking about uh, your work ethic in <clears throat> basketball. He said, it, he said if the work ethic had been higher, it could have been even better. We could have won even more rings. Uh, was he saying that to me or was he saying that to uh, all the statues that I have in front of the Staples Center? <laughs> he wasn't talking to me. In the end, the Lakers had to choose between Kobe and Shaq. They opted to stick with the younger Kobe and traded O'Neal to Miami. The Los Angeles Lakers and Miami Heat have agreed to a trade that will send Shaquille O'Neal, one of the greatest big men of all time, to sunny South Florida. Shaq traded to the Heat. Kobe re-ups with the Lakers. Shaq's future is certain. A big shift in the balance of power in the NBA as the league's most dominant player is headed back east, the newest member of the Miami Heat. Remember this, I'm going to bring a championship to Miami, I promise. The Kobe and Shaq era had ended. Kobe Bryant was now the sole star in L.A. Okay, it's like a, a, a divorce. If your parents get divorced, all you worse. Because I was mad when my parents got divorced. But how, how do we get through it? Because people really feel it, especially around L.A. Well, I think it's going to be tough for everybody because change uh, is difficult for anybody. And he answered the bell. He answered the bell or he damn near died trying. When he talks about the dark side of these type of athletes, a mindset of someone like Kobe, it is one mission and one mission only. All he cares about is winning. Back to that. Kobe more than anything else in the world. Literally more in family, more in religion, more in money, more in fame. Kobe and maybe LeBron James could make that finish. They want to win that game at all costs, and they'll do whatever it takes to win that game. It was on him to deliver a title and justify the Lakers' decision to move off Shaq. Kobe Bryant in the fourth quarter is 7 of 11. He has 19 points. Bobcats by one. Kobe up top. of a second remaining in the 
Lakers by one, 117-116, and Bryant with 21 in the fourth quarter. That's what you call a money player, and that's why there's a Brinks truck that backs up to pay him. And the game ends. Kobe Bryant has also become a top defender because he has started to shut down people, the other opponent's top scorers at times. Bryant. In the wake of Shaq's trade, the Lakers had to endure a few seasons of roster rebuilding. Do you think that your game was as good as it's ever been during that period of time? Oh yeah, absolutely. Kobe wasn't the most personable person when he played. People didn't like Kobe personally. When the Lakers traded Shaq, I remember saying at the time, Yes! Oh my goodness. Don't discount that man. Oh, what a fun. shot. I'm going to have to eat a dirt sandwich for a couple years because Kobe's team's going to be awful. But the Lakers made the right decision. One guy practices, one guy doesn't. One guy wants to play. One guy is literally is going to play for another 10 years. Shaq's already sort of checked out. This is Kobe of the 360. Bryant was dominant but his team struggled. The man ran Shaq out of town. It's not easy being his teammate either. And I admired him for years, but I wouldn't want to play with him. It's not easy, but it's not supposed to be easy when you're trying to be great. I don't think Kobe was beloved in his time. Like Narcissist, selfish. Luke gave him a little rub and that's all he needed. Leaves it for Devin. Final shot of overtime. You don't want to take it as Kwame's got it now. Give it to a guard, please. Ten left. Kwame going up with it. Too strong. Loose ball. Kwame gets it back. Got to hurry. It'll be Kobe. Kobe for a deuce. And the win. He got it. Guess what? He got it. We're six tenths of a second to play. Hey, that's the guy you want shooting it. Frequently, for the Lakers to win, Kobe would be called upon to perform miracles. Jordan is one and Kobe's 1B. Kobe began dropping historic numbers. Kobe's greatness was plain for all to see. There's a tie between MJ and Kobe. Uh, two guys that I'm, I think are head above everybody else that ever played the game. Lamar on a two-on-one with Kobe. Oh, a he may be somebody who's remembered more fondly by history than he was in his time. I mean, the guy was very polarizing when he played, right? The oohs and ahs from the crowd. They always criticize him for taking too many shots, for being selfish, or whatever you want to say. You just feared him right when you stepped on the court. Like, like his his energy was for you to fear. There was a, there was a lot of reasons why their people did not like Kobe. Kobe on the run, up against Griffin with a spin. Oh, he's heating up. How hot is Kobe? Wow. He's got ten, and he's four or five, making five. Kobe six, was nine. kind of a go to bed early, wake up early. Very micro-focused career. I'm not saying it was perfect. Boom shakalaka! Even with a contact early. He had a really bad incident, and a, but he rebounded with another seven, eight, nine years and after Kobe that. Kobe could have a double-double by the end of the quarter. That is his fifth. Kobe single-handedly outscored the entire Mavs team, scorching them for 62 points in three quarters. Can get to the 50-point mark with three... 3.32 to go in the third. Yeah, is he the eighth wonder of the world? Tonight he is. Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, when I was dead broke, man. You were breaking all types of records. 40-point games, 60-point games in three quarters. Out for them by himself. 62 for Kobe and 61 for the Mavericks. He was the best player in the league. But his controversial image caused him to be overlooked. In 2006, when Steve won, Nash won the back-to-back -back MVP, Kobe should have won the MVP.
ignored by MVP voters. I was on the team with Steve Nash mm-hmm. when he won back to back. Got it. Got it for that. And finds Kobe. The best player in the league was Kobe Bryant. Robbing Bryant of history. With Kobe, even when you're not talking NBA Finals, there are moments. 81 points jumps to mind. Of course. Raptors and the Lakers. Raptors been residing in the basement of the Atlantic for most of the year. The last thing we've talked about was 81 points you dropped on the Toronto Raptors. Against Toronto, Kobe made history. Kobe, another tough shot. Kobe's putting up pretty good numbers, but he's not really going off. Kobe is back in and not a moment too really soon. And we were winning earlier in the game. So it gave us, I guess, some false sense of security. With his team trailing, needing Kobe to save the day, Bryant delivered. We were down by 18, 20 points. And uh, we needed some energy. All of the Lakers have to get going up. And then I want to say he erupted for like 40 or something in the third quarter. Kobe again! He was dominant over it. Knocked away by Kobe. Great hustle by Kobe. He's going to score. Is he talking to you? He didn't say a word. 62 for number eight. But obviously a lot of his game patterned after the great Michael Jordan. Michael's high in the game, 69. When did you know that you were going for eight? Yes! (laughs) Well, there's 70. Holy. 70 points for Kobe. One away from a Laker record. I just remember realizing at one point in the game, this may be something historic happening right now. Up and in. I don't even know if I believe it. 77. We'll just let you soak it in with the crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, you have witnessed the second greatest scoring performance in NBA history. She's like the wind. Bringing the crowd to its feet. I mean, you overcame like a 14 point deficit, came back and just, I mean, you basically demoralized them, which is what you like to do. Thunderous roars, cheers of awe and disbelief. 81 point game, 55 in the second half. You gotta get him out of the game. Somebody gotta stop him. Kobe will be in place and listen to this crowd for number eight, Kobe Bryant. up here now. Now the clock, the clock. You cannot allow precious sec- seconds to go off the clock by not being close to a man. They'd love to get it into Nash's hands, and they do. They do. Well, knocked away, stolen by Parker. Oh, there it is. Here comes George to Kobe Bryant. One-point game. Walton can tip it. Bryant with the save. Oh, you got to get a shot here. Final seconds. Bryant for the win. There's a, there's a whole talk about, okay, why did he change his number and why did he pick 24, right? And there's a lot of legend, you know, it's, it's that there's 24 hours in the day, and I wanted it to remind me that I should always be pursuing greatness 24 hours in the day. Uh-oh, I'm changing my number to 24, Kobe. Darren Williams! Which one is it? Oh! The one that says bad mother. You've got the peaks and valleys in Kobe's career, and some of those are on the court, some are off the court. Kobe's dedication bordered on insanity. Kobe has 50. He's done it. Four straight games, 50 or more. But points. it drove him to heights 
fought unreachable. You think Kobe Bryant is the greatest player of all time? The GOAT. Time? He's the GOAT. Kobe does it. How did he get to that baby? Double with Kobe. Kobe. And he's one of the all-time. Right around Mike Miller. All-time, all-time greats. Bryant's big, nice pass. Hey, we've got a problem here. Uh, this is Houston. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. Now Ming rejected underneath by Kobe. Bryant to the basket, inside! 81 points, the consecutive playoff appearances, his street ball mentality. Too strong. By the power of Dre Double cuts reverse! <laughs> pop off, go ahead and pop it a little bit. <laughs> I think the adrenaline is flowing in here. Pop it, pop it. And pop it right to a Pacific Division title, number 24. And that's when, when Mitch Kupchak came to you and said something like, I can get you Pal Gasol for Kwame Brown, what did you say back? <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> but... <laughs> in a trade for the ages. The Lakers managed to land big man Pau Gasol. As the Lakers acquired talented big man Pau Gasol from the Grizzlies. Okay, you look at this and you say, okay, well, we can have a conversation about who's the best. Kobe, the acrobatic finish. That was sweet. Bob Bryant. Kobe literally was the first person, you know, at the practice gym in the morning. Kobe. Final space on Kirilenko. Kobe and Gasol turned the Lakers into a force in the West. Passing to himself, off the glass, how do you like this? He worked as hard as anybody uh, has ever worked at his game. I've been fortunate enough to be at the top of the mountain before and uh, to have to go through struggles in the years uh, following that. Game one tip off, finally seconds away. And Kobe Bryant has put his team in position for another championship. His coach Phil Jackson says he's put the whole package together this year. The scoring obviously. He's rededicated himself to defense, the leadership. It has been a special season. That's the duo lifted the Lakers back into the finals. Number one seed in the West this year, Kobe Bryant knocks it down. Beautiful moves. He's got six. Rondo to Pierce. Pierce for three. Bang! Celtics back up by one. Fisher alley up. Beautiful feed. And I just felt like it was really important for myself. Oh, it's spinning off. Pretty play. How do you stop that? The big three of the Celtics proved too much for the newly rising Lakers. Puts it in. Back to back three pointers for Paul Pierce. Knocks it down. His seventh three pointer of the game. In one of the worst losses in finals history. In their 22-year absence, the Boston Celtics are NBA champions once again. Kobe, you won the MVP, you led the team to the finals. How do you characterize this season? Well, I mean, the goal was to win a championship. You know, it wasn't to win MVP or anything like that. It was to win a championship. So, you know, from that aspect, we failed. Shaq made sure to get his shots in during the off season. I was in a comedy club. Yeah. And y'all had lost. No, I know. Yeah, and I know. Had lost, I get so it. I just had to do something just to Bruh, keep the crowd listen, going. I know. I know. I, I used it though. Now that's the difference between first and last play, Kobe. Nigga, tell me how my ass tastes. Yo, tell me how my ass tastes, Kobe. The previous U.S. Olympic men's basketball team had failed to win gold. It was embarrassing, man. And, and like, I, I, I didn't get the opportunity uh, to play in, on the uh, team in Athens, but mm -hmm. I played in Tokyo in 2006. We didn't win that either. America, inventors of basketball, felt a certain kind of way about losing. Man, this is embarrassing. This. MJ and those guys never lost. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we've got to we've got to fix this, and we definitely can't lose in a way. It was just a very very serious atmosphere. Kobe Bryant joined Team USA and aimed to lead them back to glory. Yeah, and like seeing how big Kobe was, you can't touch Kobe. 
Right. It was just, I mean, the way people reacted to that guy was crazy. With Kobe leading the way, the Redeem team soared to gold. Driving and stabbing. Kobe was now an Olympic gold medalist, looking to carry over the champion mindset into the next season. That's the Kobe Bryant killing people right there. <laughs> One of the iconic players that the NBA has ever seen. I came up here in case Charles tried to get tough with my man Kobe at halftime. <laughs> Is <laughs> Kobe. And, and if you can talk a little bit more about that work ethic, because I know that there are some things that, you know, people don't know about Kobe. And it, it was amazing. It was amazing to me, his overall work ethic. Fresh off their finals defeat. Slams another reverse. The Lakers seem destined to return. Behind the back, Pau Gasol, what a pass by Kobe. Seeing Kobe which I thought was going to take the torch from Michael Jordan as the best player in the world. Just like that. And playing for the team that I love. On the 360! It, it was amazing. You've got to get the last shot of regulation. You have to. One, four, flatten down. And spread it out. The killer instinct. The clutch, give me that ball, I want an ISO kind of hero ball guy. Kobe was at his peak. Yes! Three seconds to play. Did it again. He was the marquee. He was the headliner. You knew that Kobe was coming to town. Love pass. Oh! The third time is the charm. And the third time. Kobe's counts. right there. One of the greatest ever. I think that the greatest comparison to Michael Jordan is Kobe. You know what Michael never resented? He never resented Kobe being compared to him. Yes! <laughs> you believe that Kobe Bryant took the game and elevated it where Michael left it. But I'm not going to let you young people desecrate Mike, what Michael accomplished. We not. We just saying give Kobe his credit. Numbers. They've got numbers. Do you believe it? It's out of 40 seconds left. How, you, how people just skip over Kobe like Kobe wasn't nice like that though? Mm. Like y'all just y'all just people just bypass and say LeBron just better than Kobe. Yes, the best finisher of the game has just done it again. 102-100, Lakers. He looks up at the crowd and gives them that look like, why are you so why are you so surprised? That's what I do. I mean, is it a surprise that I did that? Of a prayer to answer. And that's correctly, that was a prayer. Coming for me, I played against all three of these two. With about four seconds of difference. I would much rather, as an opponent, play against LeBron than facing Kobe or Jordan on the other side. How okay. come? Because of their mentality and, and what I know, what they're going to do every freaking session. <laughs> that's it! Again! Clutch! Back to back! Houston last night, San Antonio tonight, Lakers by two, 12 seconds to play. I'll tell you, it, that's, I'm going to just call him do, because that's just what he do. What is it about Kobe Bryant that can elevate this team possibly to an NBA champion? He's the best player in the game. It's just that simple. He'd mastered every facet of the game. The Los Angeles Lakers, one of the most storied franchises in all of sports, led by one of the most dynamic players this game has ever seen. Kobe Bryant and the Lakers back on the final stage for the second consecutive year. You had guys that were in their seasons in April, and they would work out in July and August. Mm -hmm. Kobe Bryant would play in the June and was working out a week or two later. You know how they say one man can't beat a team? I beg to differ. <laughs> That's how bad he wanted it. His work ethic was unparalleled. One man can beat a team. This guy has dominated. Kobe and company dictated the action. Lakers looking to push. Ryan spinning in the lane. I'm talking about skill. I'm talking about pure skill and will. Back 
for Gasol. Pretty pass. But when we talk about Kobe Bryant, I never thought I would say it playing against Michael Jordan for so long. Mama, there goes that man. But Kobe Bryant will go down as the greatest basketball player that has ever lived. LA wins the 2009 NBA title. MVP of the 2009 NBA Finals, Kobe Bryant. Kobe had done it. He led the Lakers to a post Shaq title. I love New York City, man. I really do. It's just, you know, this is the mecca of basketball, and I, I just love coming here to play. It's a beautiful gym. Kobe's got a mismatch, wants to get back to the bar. Instead, he'll go himself. I think for the first time in my whole time following basketball, the defending champion is under the radar. Kobe flying home. Two-hander. I played with Kobe, okay, and he, the work ethic, just his demeanor on the court. You're talking about playing through injuries. I mean, unbelievable. He wanted to go to Pau Gasol. That's on his way down. That's how good it is for this guy. His biggest asset is his desire to be the best. His drive. He's got it. Kobe Bryant has now scored more points than any other player at Madison Square Garden with 61. What a magnificent one. Kobe Bryant, a standing ovation at Madison Square Garden from some of the most educated observers of the game. He even got a high five. DJ. I'm serious. I mean, <laughs> this is. Uh, he was now unquestionably the greatest player on planet Earth. But today's star player, Durant, Chris Paul, LeBron, they're friends. KG is the only player left in the league. Kobe and KG. They're the end of an era, so you better appreciate it. Last chance time for the Lakers. Down by two, 108-106, and a three for the win, two for the tie in overtime of the Lakers. But with the game on the line, uh-uh. And with 4.1, obviously you can catch and make a move to the basket and possibly get a whistle. I it was the iron will to put his foot on people's neck and take their heart so they remember the next time they play. No, he's not. Amazing again at the buzzer. Is there anybody more clutch than that man? Most players talk about wanting the last shot to win a game, but there's a difference between talking about it and making it happen. I mean, Kobe and Jordan, they want the ball. Uh, just, just some about those moments that they 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 not they not running from. Game over. Game over, man. Yes. 1.9 to play. Game over. He has given the Lakers a two-point lead. They're on a timeout. Killer instinct. The Lakers survive the Toronto Raptors. Well, that's what he does. One game winner after the next. Get it into Kobe. Now, the Lakers for the win. Kobe. His killer ways carried the day. Yes! Yes! At the buzzer, he does it. Was there ever a doubt? Kobe wins it for the Lakers. I thought we had the game one. Lakers do not have any timeouts. The Heat in the penalty, so they can't foul. I don't even know how he got the ball, but that's what he does. Wade is guarding Bryant. Bryant seemed impervious to nerves. Banks it in! <laughs> he banks in the three! And the Lakers win the game! A true blue stone cold assassin. Kobe's numbers on the court are truly staggering. He is one of the greatest players of all time, leading the Lakers to five NBA titles. After we split apart, were you trying to get more, more championships than me? Oh, absolutely. You were? Absolutely. Lakers and the Celtics, it just sounds right at this time of year. For me, it was, it was kind of the perfect series to play in the Celtics. You know? Then beating us in 08. Bang! Kobe Bryant again! You know, most people don't know this, but I had a bone spur in my ankle. Returning to the finals again, the Lakers would get a chance at revenge. He's remaining in the half. Bryant can't get it to fall. Bryant trying to keep it alive. Bryant takes 
Finds Bynum inside, counted out of foul. I think he turned it to, to the crowd. Drills the three-pointer. Fourth three of the game. The Celtics were a stacked team, but Kobe was too much. It's a moment in a game that kids dream about as they're growing up. I am a part of this incredible rivalry, and what it's going to say about us, this team, is that we lost to the Celtics twice. I don't think so. Overcoming the odds, Bryant took down the big three in Boston. It's incredible. You can't, like, the debate of saying Michael is the greatest, you have to put it up there. But Kobe Bryant came along as the student and surpassed the master. It took seven games, but Kobe Bryant was champion again. Puts it in! Four-point Laker lead, their largest of the game. will inbound. 11.7 seconds remaining in a four-point game. NBA championship coming down to the final seconds. The Lakers repeat back-to-back -back titles. The LA Lakers, the 2010 NBA champions. The Bill Russell NBA Finals MVP is none other than Kobe Bryant. When I got four, you got four. I was like, hey, I yeah. got four, he got four. That's straight. When you got that fifth one, and yeah. then, hold on. You said, I just wanted to get one more. Absolutely. Shot we know what it means as a team, but what about individually for you? Just got one more to Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. TV. And, I, and I said, you know what? There ain't nothing he can do about it either. Bryant was now a five-time champion. And how about Kobe coming over for the block? Didn't see that coming, did he? A player rivaled only by MJ. Kobe's not just a player. Kobe's an era. Oh! See, the culture of basketball has changed. Hot high, down hard. Players and rivals chill together, played AAU together, trained together, do events, charities, golf together. Because when Kobe broke into this league, even the star players had to fight for a smaller pool of the money and the attention. Get a shot away. He's tripped. Now they want to get a shot away. Oh, he hurt his shoulder. Yeah, that hurt. You can tell when he stays down, he's hurt. Yeah, I, I played through a myriad of injuries. Yeah, I've been fortunate enough that you know, most of the injuries that I've had, you really can't do any more significant damage to them the more you play. Kobe's going to go back and get it. He hurt his finger. Yes, he did. He is hurt right now. This is Sparta! Athletic trainer Gary Vee put it back in place. You can see just there. Kobe left the world with endless moments of greatness, a lifetime of memories. If you're willing to work hard, if you're willing to wake up at 6 a.m., and if you're willing to play through pain and through injury, really push yourself beyond perceived human limits. Bryant makes an ooze from the Laker fans on his crossover. Vintage Kobe, that's putting the clock back a few years. I'm a big Kobe fan. You hear about his work ethic? It's, oh, it's, it's ridiculous. Insane. Kobe in year 17 gave you 27, 6, and 6. In year 17. Kobe will go to the grave, will go to the death for another egg. Wow! That, is, that was something special. There's a four second differential. But the Lakers have a chance to take the lead. Bryant with the crowd roaring. Three comes out to double. Kobe around him. Still, they marveled at Kobe's inspiring battle with Father Time. Could he get to six titles? Could he break Kareem's scoring record? Could he reach 40,000 points? He's down to five. Bryant goes to work. Bryant, the drive! Kept churning out the same numbers 
25 per night, every night. It was then that injury finally came for Kobe. Oh! Kobe Bryant a and then the quote that you said after was, at what point are you holding on to something that's not there? So at what point do you say enough is enough? It's time to walk away from this thing. Right? I don't know if that moment ever truly exists. It has yeah, to be, you kind of have to feel it inside of yourself. Most people, that choice is made for them. Kobe, splash outside. Kobe, around the back. He'd always been a warrior. But as he aged, he was forced to fight more and more to stay on the court. Dominating the sport for two decades. From their reserves. Ryan again, going to work, falls down. What is what are we looking at, Jim? Because as you guys are talking about this, he just tore his Achilles. This is probably one of those last things he did. He tore his but. Achilles, but in order, to, this is like a rule in the game. He had to shoot his free throws, so he's walking back out with no Achilles, and he did, does this. He is hurting, but the Lakers down by two, and they want him and need him at the free throw line. It was pretty pretty impressive. Wow, he can barely walk, man. Holy sh. No crying or nothing. Kobe's coming out. Yeah, I mean, that's the Achilles. I mean, I mean, I'm, I shouldn't say that. That's oh, the foot, a mean. foot injury. Two yeah. swishes in a row with no Achilles. I don't know shit about basketball. I know that was amazing. They told us probable torn Achilles. They're going to do an MRI. Are you pretty convinced that's what it is? Yeah. But if anyone's going to get through this, probably you. <laughs> you know, players at this stage of their career, you know, they pop Achilles and, you know, the pundits say they never come back the same. So I can hear it already. It's pissing me off right now. He'd return to action, overcoming the odds. Lays it in a slam dunk. Now that could be his first slam dunk of the season. And that's impressive. Ruptured Achilles. A year and a half ago. Kobe proved he could get back on the court, but he was no longer what he once was. There's the tongue, the Mamba tongue. At his final game, Kobe set out to leave a final, lasting impression. What's the thing you remember most about Kobe's career? Just that he hated to lose. I mean, he might have hated to lose more than he liked winning. The man has scored 25 times over 50 points. He scored over 60 points five times. And then we all knew where we were when he scored 81 points. With so much support from the fans and his teammates, Kobe fired away. No, I have decided to skip college and take my talent to the NBA. Kobe Bryant is retiring after 20 years in the league, all with the Lakers. One of the greatest basketball players to ever hit the court. Will play his final NBA game. Defense leads to offense. <laughs> Kobe, you know, last game tonight represents a 20-year span of life that was the most impactful part of, of my of my life for sure. And one. And the foul. Looking for a three-point play, KB. 18-time All-Star, five-time NBA champ, and relentless competitor. Up it goes, and down it goes. Bryant for three. Oh, you gotta love it. Kobe Bryant has never cheated the game. He has never cheated us as the fans. Which your wiper back, fourth, lay it up and in with the left. As if it were written in the stars, Kobe put on the game of the year in his final outing. And it bounces in as he peels himself off the deck. That winning one championship, two championships, three championships, four or five, that's possible. You know, to see that every day, that, that's what drove me and that's what drove our teams to the success we were able to have. And we have five championship banners to show for it. 
one big shot after the next. Yes, sir! There's 40. 40 for Bryant. <laughs> Kobe, I mean, he is uh, really from the old school kind of a player that plays through things and makes no excuses. And he's underneath a reverse slam. He is three points away from 50. But the cameras are out documenting the moment. The chants continue to echo through Staples Center. Leading the comeback. Basket equals a 50-point game. He's got 51! There it is! A 50-point game in his farewell! <laughs> Look at him trying to get air. Yeah. <laughs> I used to tease him a few years back, many years back to be true about it, about him having a third lump. It's a four-point game, 53 points. One minute coming up to play. Kobe with the ball, and the Lakers down four. Bryant. It's a one-point game. He's so tired, he can barely pick his feet up. Look at him. But he continues to wheel himself. He has the ability to wheel himself and puts his wheel on the opposition. Is amazing. 56 points. Are you kidding me? The amazing Kobe Bryant. A superstar who spent his entire 20 year career with one team. 96 95. 12 and 10. Lyles. Not for three. Lakers will get a chance to take the lead and look who has the ball. He was a cold-blooded assassin. Yes! Kobe Bryant gets the Lakers the lead! <laughs> oh, I tell you something. This is, you know, he was legendary before this game. This is, this takes it to an absolute another level. An absolute another level. Bryant is 8 for 10 from the line. But does he have enough legs to get free throws? We'll see. <laughs> Two free throws for 60. In his last game, Kobe Bryant broke 60. A 60-point game for Kobe Bryant. What a performance. What an exit for number 24. You couldn't have written this. You know, it's, uh, I can't believe how fast 20 years went by, man, this is crazy. So, to be drafted and then traded to this organization and to spend 20 years here, I mean, you can't, you can't write something better than this. What can I say? Mamba out. Do you remember what you told me when I first met you? You said you were going to be the... The greatest player of all time? Yes. Unexpectedly and tragically, this is the saddest NBA day ever. A helicopter accident took the life of Kobe, his daughter, and several others. Rest in peace, Kobe Bryant.
the Black Mamba. Nobody brings it home like Joe Vincent. Nobody. Make it so. 